pregnant actress, as well as four other people who had the unfortunate timing to be at the estate, were savagely murdered. The next day, an innocent couple, the Labiancas, were killed in the same brutal fashion by the same brutal killers. I cried for those victims, even though that I was not responsible for them. I cried for them. I cried for their families, whose whole lives were torn apart forever. How much do you think about the victims? I thought about them a lot at first. And now that it keeps coming up, you know, I feel their lives were stopped short. Who knows what they could have done, what good they could have done in, in this world. It's, it's a tragedy. Do you owe any type of apology to their families now? I don't personally, except for the fact that I um, touted lies to the press and you all that. You recruited people into the I, Manson family? Well, I didn't you know at the time. Charlie. I didn't know at the time. Let's be fair here. I didn't know at the time when I recruited people that there was going to be any murders. But in fact, Catherine was responsible for recruiting Leslie Van Houten into the sordid world of the Manson family. Van Houten was present when those innocent lives were savagely taken and is now serving her life behind bars in California. I really, really regret pulling Leslie Van Houten into the family. She's been sitting there for 25 years, and she has all this to, to have on her shoulders, even though that she didn't personally kill anybody. She still has that to live with every day, and she would have never been in that situation at all if I hadn't pulled her in. This year marks the 25th anniversary of the gruesome Tate LaBianca murders, and even a quarter century later, the image of Manson and his devoted followers strikes fear in the hearts of people everywhere. Gypsy has lived through those memories, and although she herself was not involved in the Tate LaBianca murders, she found her own way to prison. She was involved in a couple crimes, uh, one of which was uh, conspiring to dissuade a prosecution witness from testifying, and she served 90 days for that. And after Gypsy was released from her 90-day sentence, Charlie had a new job for her, to break a friend of his out of jail. I, uh smuggled in hacksaw blades to this person, and, he, and then he escaped within days. You helped someone that. escape from prison? Yes, I did. Charlie had told me, do what he asked you to do. And uh, he told me, Charlie said that I could have you as, one, as my girl. That man was Kenneth Cuomo, and Gypsy and her escaped convict soon became lovers, and eventually partners in crime. One night my orders were to get my, my wig on and my license and drive. And he told me, drive down this freeway, drive over here, and park, and wait for us. We're going to rob the gun store. And you said? I didn't say anything. I sat there and hoped against hope that the police wouldn't come. That's not how things turned out. That's not how things turned out. Catherine was sentenced to five years in prison for driving the getaway car in the now infamous Hawthorne gun store heist. But perhaps the most bizarre aspect of this botched robbery attempt was the far-fetched motive that was soon revealed after the would-be robbers were caught red-handed. The motive was to use these stolen weapons to hijack a 747 plane and kill a passenger every hour until the authorities released Manson and the other imprisoned members of his family. The reason the gun store was robbed was so that a 747 jet could be hijacked. And I heard about it afterwards. Passengers would be executed one an hour until Charlie Manson was released. That was never discussed, never. Catherine says she was in the dark about most of the family's activity, but it was her jail sentence for the attempted robbery that opened her eyes and changed her life. She served her time at the California Institution for Women at Frontera, the same prison her old friends, Susan Atkins, Patricia Krenwing, and Leslie Van Houten were serving life sentences. She says, that's where she knew for sure that the people she once called her family were murderers. I heard that Charlie ordered them to commit those murders. And once you heard that, there was no going back. I didn't want to go back any, anymore. That was it. That was the, the break. <laughs> Today, Catherine Scher has a new life, far removed from her time as one of Manson's girls. She is totally devoted to the church, 
and hasn't had as much as a traffic ticket in the last 10 years. And even Vincent Bugliosi, who Gypsy once considered her bitter enemy, applauds Catherine for being able to put her life back together. And I have the very firm impression that uh, she has turned her life around and she's completely rehabilitated herself. And 25 years after she first stood on a street corner and spread the Manson message, today, Catherine Cher spreads her own message to people who still follow her former mentor. Don't follow any man. Find out the truth. And the truth is, Charlie's not a role model, and he's very destructive. And Catherine Cher is writing a book about her life with Manson called She Was a Gypsy Woman.